1, I'm Brad Bird. Shelley has the evening off. As cleanup continues after tornadoes rip through Middle Tennessee, Tri-Staters are stepping up to lend a hand. We reported Thursday the city of Evansville joined forces with the Ohio Valley Conference to raise money during this year's basketball tournament. Some of the schools in the conference were impacted by the tornadoes. Eyewitness News' Miranda Meister is live from the Ford Center with the story. Miranda? Brad, over the last few days, thousands of people have come into the Ford Center, and they've seen this banner and this box next to the merchandise table. Now, some of the teams who took the court are from the Nashville area. Their fans tell me that seeing this show of support was nice. Fans came to see the action on the court, but the banner in the lobby of the Ford Center caught some attention also. It's a plea for the spectators to help the thousands of people cleaning up after tornadoes caused an extreme amount of damage to cities in Middle Tennessee. We saw that uh, the tornado hit Nashville and hit a couple of the Ohio Valley Conference uh, schools. It was obvious to us that the business community really needed to kind of rally around that. Different organizations in Evansville teamed up with the OVC to do exactly that, bringing in money for those rebuilding. And the fans affected by the disaster say using basketball as a platform was the right move. Whether you're a fan of this team or that team, uh, but for the OVC to really try to bridge that gap, whether like it doesn't matter what university you're cheering for, we're all people, and when a tragedy hits, we're going to come together. I think that's beautiful. In one of the schools who took the court, a national team, Belmont University. Some of their fans tell me their school didn't receive much damage, but the city is still hurting. The city just seems, you know, quieter, more you know, slow moving, I guess. It was just really sad and just seeing all the pictures, it was just heartbreaking and hearing, you know, just the number throughout the day of the people that died go up throughout the day is just really sad. But the individuals walking through the door aren't the only ones lending a hand. $10,500 has been donated by local businesses like Old National Bank and Vectorant. And as for the students in the chairing section, they say they know Middle Tennessee will recover. Donations can be brought here to the Ford Center, but if you're not able to make it out here, you can find this link to donate on our website, tristatehomepage.com. Reporting live from the Ford Center, Miranda Meister, Eyewitness News.